So for those of you wanting a little bit more information about what the actual portal of Lingoda looks like, how do you book your classes, what kind of classes can you book, how does your credits work, I've taken up the sprint for French. I'm just doing the sprint, not the super super sprint. <laughs> and basically seven days before my payment just got deducted from my account. Now when I log in I can see I have this number 15 next to group classes and then it's also saying you'll receive 15 group class credits in 30 days as well. Now for me this is just what's happened with me in this sprint. So I paid in euros and when I actually signed up so they deducted 49 euros from my account just as a deposit and then for the first month of courses they've deducted 141 euros from my account and then they're going to take a second payment when the second month begins for the sprint. I did receive this email just as well today when I received my credits because it's a week before the actual sprint starts. So they're basically saying that my credits are in my account and that you must reserve classes between the actual sprint period, which is outlined in the rules. So it's really important. Otherwise, they're saying that this is you, you're not going to qualify for the actual cashback anymore. And then they're telling me here when the second month is going to be billed as well. This is what it looks like when I actually log in. So we do get a couple things like you also get a tour. They also see you can click on the rules. Definitely make sure you read and understand these. These are the main rules, but also go and check out this whole PDF here, which you can see on this sales page. If you just scroll down, you can click see all rules and it'll take you over to this booklet, which is really, really good read and just helps gain better understanding. In terms of this, I have no classes booked yet, so I'm just gonna click on go to book classes. And it's important to mention as well, there are two methods of booking classes. I'm gonna cover both. One this way in which you can just have a look through and select classes that maybe appeal to you or select them by level. And then the other route, which I'll show after this one, is if you want to follow more like a curriculum. And we can see here that we have these classes on the left hand side. I can change the level, which is very, very easy, very cool. I can just select multiple if I want to, and it's just going to load up a whole bunch of classes, which I can have a look at. So we can see here, I can talk about my schedule in French, where are you going, reflexive verbs, my routine. I can talk about my schedule in French. Okay, you can also have a look at the date. We'll go with Tuesday the 11th. This will be into the sprint. The sprint starts on the 10th of July. We can also see the time. Now, these aren't gonna work for me. I don't wanna do 1 a.m. lessons. So what I can do here, I can select afternoon, evening, select multiple as well, which is fantastic because then it's going to show up multiple classes that are all available for that time and now we can just have a read through and you can see this summary here a 2.2 biography do you want to move out an accommodation for a vacation you can click on details as well you can see the professor name who it's going to be with and we have all this so environmentalism and ecology you can have a little read through, you can preview the lesson material, get to know the vocabulary. You can do this before the class in order to actually prepare. So I think this is just super, super cool in order to just give you that information of what do you actually want to learn. And this is what I was really excited about with Lingoda is that you get to pick what you want to learn. And just to show you a preview of this, so I just click open lesson material and it full on gives me the PDF of everything that's going to be covered during the class, which is just so, so cool because it's something I, I think is going to be really awesome about Lingoda because you can tell if you know something and you can tell if you don't know something. So you know if that class is going to be good for you. If you look at something and you immediately go, yep, I know what that is, then you don't, you can skip over it, which is, it just offers a lot more flexibility. You're in control of what you want to learn. This is before I've even booked it. Here is the booking button. But even before that, I get a few different resources, which is just really, really cool, I think. And if you actually find someone who you want to take part in more classes from them, perhaps as a teacher you really, really like, so you can click on the teacher, it's going to show their profile. And then if you scroll down, it says their next classes. So you can have a look at which ones they have coming up in the future, but this is not perfect because if I just click on another teacher, for example, and scroll down, this isn't saying that they don't have any places available for my level. 
And if I just come back to this, this is because it thinks that my level is this B2.1. So this is all coming from the practice test. So I'm gonna have to change this. I can go into my account and change this. And I probably will do that after I've done a couple of classes just to see how I really feel because I'm, I'm honestly not too sure because the practice test did place me too high. I think the practice test, it, it only was judging your reading comprehension. It didn't judge your speaking or your listening. So the practice test itself didn't seem super great, I would say. So if you just click over here and click on your account and then go to your learning, you can then change your level here by clicking this button. And we can see it's placing me at this level here, but you can change that just from this page. And the other way that you can book classes, so you can also go to my course and it's going to tell you based on the practice test that you've done. When you do log in and you create your account, it's going to ask you to take a practice test and it's going to place you where it thinks that you are. This is what it's placed me for my course, but I can actually just like change this here and change it to whatever I think it is. It's going to give you a curriculum all laid out for you. So then what you can do is just click on one of these. So I'll click on this for example. Now I can have a look at what time slots are available and then I can add in these same filters that I did on the previous page. So now I'm gonna actually go ahead and book a class. So I'm just going to show you that if I show classes for the Monday, what's happened is that I've already booked a class. If I try to book another class over the top, it is gonna show me right at the top that I already have a class on that day. So that orientation, so that's great because if you book two classes in one day, then that's going to exclude you from qualifying for the actual cash back. So I love that they show you that at the top where it says you are joining this class. Now, if I go to Tuesday, it doesn't show that. So I know that my Tuesday is free and it's safe and I can go ahead and book that class. Now, I also just wanted to have a look in a few days time just to see if there were classes available. And for this one, it's too close. So they've probably all been filled up, but it shows you some other classes that haven't been. And now I just show over a week out and pretty much all the classes are still available at this stage. Cause yeah, I was really curious like how many people actually would be in classes so early. So here we can have a look. So there's already one person there where there's been a professor teacher assigned. And then you can also see the little N which means that someone else has registered for the class. So that's how you can see how many people are gonna be in the class. And if a teacher has been assigned, who the teacher is actually gonna be and the ones that haven't been assigned as of yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click book next to that time. It's gonna tell me the remaining credit balance after I confirm this booking. So one class equals one credit. Then I click confirm and that's all done. I've booked a class, so nice and easy. Now when I go over to my classes, I can see that they're all here. I can have one booked on the 10th, 11th and 12th. That's why there's these little dots here. It tells me who it's with and who else is gonna be in the class with me. And I can also see my classes that I've already taken once I take them over there. Whenever you do book a class as well, you will also receive an email notification and I can add it to the calendar. It's telling me what I can do to prepare. So I really think that there's a lot of good resources. I really like how it's organized. They've made everything really clear in my opinion, which is very important as well because reminders are gonna be important because if you miss 10 minutes of the class or you show up late for any reason, even if you have to go to hospital or your internet dies and there's a power outage that is completely out of your control, uh, they don't care. So <laughs> you need to be able to have like a backup plan as well and just have everything ready. So it's probably a good idea to have like your phone using your mobile data as a plan B, just in case that does happen. Like you do get a power outage. It's not completely out of the ordinary. Add things to your calendar, be nice and prepared, read those rules so you know exactly what to do. I reached out to support as well and use the chat feature just to see how it went and also how quickly they would get back to me and I wanted to confirm the actual time of the sprint and they replied to me about five and a half hours later so on the same day which I thought was pretty good um, and they did say in the chat that they were experiencing more support tickets so it would take a bit more time so they responded within 24 hours so that was okay and they clarified my question and they answered it clearly. So far I really like this user interface. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions let me know.